Hello, everyone. Welcome to The Hive with Vivian. We have a new uh, format now. We are going to be doing interviews on webcams so that you can see the faces behind VR. So today we have the Pink Stingray, who is going to be um, my right-hand man. And we have Edna Jordan, celebrity, right? Queen of Onward. <laughs> this picture. Yeah. Yeah, That's right. Tactical. They're doing awesome this season. Yeah, I can't believe she like made time for us. <laughs> oh, so love you guys. Yeah. Um. So we want to just kind of like hang out and, and hear how the season's going for you. Um. You tell us secrets about SMC. What color is Landon's underwear? You know, just like <laughs> whatever it is that you want to talk about that might be useful. Like I wish I can tell you like he has like really colorful patterns, but he doesn't. It's just like all plain. Like, yeah, who wants that? I know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe At I least make your underwear fun. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I need to buy him some underwear. So it's like fun. Me undies though. It's the shit. <laughs> what kind? So good. Me undies. It's that subscription box that you get underwear, but it's like super soft and they have like the <laughs> best patterns. It's fantastic. <laughs> That's actually funny you say that because I have a business where I send underwear monthly for people but oh yeah like mm, totally okay different business model. <laughs> totally <laughs> different business model but <laughs> um, anyway um so how is snc how's it going this year um it's going good now that we got two new players too so they're like working really well with the team yeah, oh, yeah. Which, which new player do you like most well i like them both but I'm, i guess i know triple more so does that mean you like him more? I like everybody the same, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Afterwards. afterwards we'll Edna's good at the interview yeah, question. She She's good. like, no, I'll be <laughs> neutral. <laughs> um, so um, wait, have you played yet? I, you did play, right? Didn't you? I can't remember. I'll, all I know is. Oh, I did play, like, one of the last map or something. Oh, OK. Yeah. I'm always in the chat going, put in Edna, you know? Yeah, that's All right. true. <laughs> no, actually, so we actually played with you guys. We warmed up with y'all um, before we played our map, maybe? I mean, our match. Um, yes. And it was quarantine. And, um, you know, of course, every time you're in the lobby, it was like well, the girls like to play together. Ah, um, okay. And you were last one up, and Landon was last one up on the other side. <laughs> And although, oh, she's obviously going to get him. You did, but then you ran up to him and you're like, sorry, baby. <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> it was. And I'm like, goals, guys. I want to be with someone who I can shoot in the fucking head. And I know. Had it. And they want me to, you know, succeed. So it's a lot of aggression yeah. out. Like, it's just great. Yeah. Do you guys ever, like, just 1v1 and onward? You're like, come on, let's we go. We do. Really? Um, yeah, like we've, we've done it a couple of times. I usually get him though. I'm, I'm shorter. So whenever he's shooting, like he has to remember to aim down at me. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> huh. It's actually a super big advantage unless you're playing the really tall players. Because that's how I am with yeah. Noman. Like, Noman can spot me, but if I creep around quarters, he's not shooting. Yeah. I, I shoot him first. <laughs> that is okay. That reminds me. Um, pink is dating living with a partner of partner of <laughs> I, we've been together for over four years at this point it's just yeah we're, we're just there we're, yeah, we're just know. we're just each other's best friends and in each other's lives so that's kind of just how it is that's cool <laughs> do you guys ever talk about onward like yeah actually because i write for v respawn and uh, noman who's on blaze does all of the casting for onward and stuff too so actually like half of her questions because he doesn't like to talk about actually about his job very much so i have the time i'll be like so how's your job going he's like oh yada yada like i don't really want to talk about i'm like oh how's onward he's like oh let me tell you about all this stuff and then he'll tell oh, me really? about everything and i'm like what's going on with like the lead casters and like all the stuff that's going on with that so you know it's what really cool I'm going to pretend or imagine that no one knows way too much about me, personally. Because <laughs> <You know? laughs> I always wonder, like, maybe they don't talk about Onward. Maybe it's like, you know, we're going to talk about, you know, taxes and stuff like that. Oh, God, no. Um, we actually do our own taxes because both of us are like, dude, online taxes is the way to go. So we just go do our own taxes. Mm -hmm. um, what about you, Edna? Do you and Landon talk about it at dinner? Or? No, not really. Like, if we do, we just talk about our team and, like, what 
like gossip about it. your team? Like who's the best looking and who smells the most? And tell well, us how. I would say everybody would say Landon has the worst feet smelling ever. Oh God! <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it's, it's bad. It's yeah, bad. it's bad. <laughs> so, you have to like sprinkle that deodorant in his laundry so it doesn't smell horrible every sure. time. Well, sure. it's funny because so in London, um, I think somehow one of Landon's sock got stuck into Pooncake's luggage. <laughs> And so he went home with it and he opened it. He like, he said he almost threw up. He threw it <laughs> away. Like all his clothes that he brought, he threw it all away. Whatever was in the luggage, he threw it all away. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he didn't like wash it and sleep with it. Like, turn it into we like know, a puppet. Know, yeah. So Landon, <laughs> it's like so soft. It's like a baby's butt, but he, it sweats all the time. Like, that's oh, why that's why it's so stanky? Yeah. <laughs> So like have so to get like those powder like you know like, put it in your, like in your socks and walk like, around yeah <laughs> I love you know what this is fun I think I'm going to like interview people who know details about other players so we can hear about it and we can just speculate who okay so now we know that Landon has the worst smelling feet in the league there okay? you go yeah. <laughs> And um, the plainest underwear. Everyone else has like flat and hearts and stuff like that. Um, so that's that's interesting. Um, so last season with SMC, you guys were kind of like like this, right? And this season, you guys are killing it. I mean, what changed? Like, did you well, guys? You know? Sickness couldn't play much last. Right. Season. Yeah. Yeah. So work, and then also Beefy, he started school again. So it was oh, what grade is he in? I don't even know. I really don't. <laughs> like 14th grade. Yeah. He's been in the 12th oh, okay. grade for a while. All right, got it. <laughs> He's doing a lot of math problems. <laughs> oh, there you go. So, that's all yeah. I know. Oh, so you think it's because um, they're, they're back playing full time? Yeah. But, yeah. Like, everybody's right. putting yeah. more hours. Yeah. I hear you guys practice a lot, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, we're trying to do – because I think last season, we only did, like, Tuesdays and Thursdays. So mm. this, this season, we're doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, mm -hmm. and then our match on the weekend, pretty much. That's awesome. Do you guys do two matches a week right now? Are you doing any challenges? We did challenge the Danglers, which we won. That was good. <laughs> Yay! Um, but that was our first challenge. But we're trying to do challenges and get our MMR up there. Uh, well, who do you like to play against? Like, you're like, oh, awesome. It would be a fun match. Um, never against Globo. <laughs> okay, so not Globo. <laughs> I always tell them, it's a pleasure getting our ass kicked by you all the time. Like, but That's just how they are with everyone, though, except the beginners. And even the beginners, like, if they play the beginners on a small map, even then, it's just brutal. I actually capped on beginners. It was just like a scrim. But I actually capped on beginners on Smoils. Good. I, felt really was, I hope it was on Smoils. Was it on Smoils? Uh, it might have been. I actually don't remember. I have to ask Landon. Actually, um, we, me and Pink, actually really love Smoils and would love to have a Great. Smoils sandwich. But he's such a, he's such a Smoil. You know, like, I was he's playing with him like a, like a while ago in quarantine. And we were on the same team. And he, like got downed and yelled at me like you gotta shoot straight princess and someone's like you're the one that's down and, <laughs> down. and so it's just fun um I think he's great yeah, so me and Smoils constantly argue in discord just constantly <laughs> like we're just back and forth we have a very fun relationship trolling each other it's great <laughs> I uh, I pick up cats randomly in the alley and I ask if it's if, is that you <laughs> is that you Smoils <laughs> So, so tell us, who do you, who do you like to play against? Like, um, I don't, I guess, I don't really have a favorite team. I mean, it's always <laughs> fun going against Animal House because, you know, that was my old team. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So every, every now and then we can get a scrim with them. It's fun. I'm like playing against Honey's team, Space Force. Space Force? Can, yeah. We scrim against them a lot and that's pretty fun. We played with some of them yesterday. I don't know. Oh, who do you have was on your team, right? Yes. Uh, SNC. Yeah. He's like a giant. I think me and Pink can stand on each other and we're like, we're Hoonie half. Like, <laughs> I, 
he's has that do you know that there's a spot on cargo where you in the very middle where you can look over the crates if you're tall enough but almost no one in the league is tall <laughs> enough except for Hooney. so without fail that's one of my favorite spots to run to he'll always shoot me if he's in the lobby and i'm like how where oh yeah honey's on the other team that's right <laughs> and it yeah. makes me cool. so angry i know <laughs> i thought i thought we did uh well, actually, I did. I did terrible. I, I there are some players that like. I don't say like intimidate me, but I'm like I don't really know you that well. I just know you're really good, and you really don't know me, so I'm gonna play terribly. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I feel the same way with SMC. Yeah. This. Yeah. You know. Yeah, they're they're pretty tough. I mean, even in our practices, like we'll try to do like you know, two against five, just and do it like I don't know, just go against each other. Us trying. Mm-hmm. To basically defend and them trying to cap and it's always like nerve-wracking I'm like dang it like I'm going against Punke like uh like he's always so quick he's like a jizzy of SMC he's got grenade throwing skills too Landon um Landon's good at it yeah Landon's really good at grenades yeah same do you have any friendly rivalries with anyone that you're always like you're going down Otto you're the meanest guy in the league <laughs> <laughs> Except the opposite. <laughs> Friendly oh, rivalry. Like, yeah, I guess. Like, I guess just against Globo. It's like every time it, it's just. But it's also good whenever you kill him. It's like, yes, I got you. Especially like Pants, who has that insane reaction time. Every time you kill me, you're like, yes, I mm-hmm. got you. Him and Toast. Like, they are crazy. Yes. Insanely good. I don't want to talk about them. Let's talk about other people who are good. <laughs> mm. Um, let me see. Who's the oh, team? Mix is going to be uh, the guest. He's going to be the featured person next week. Nice. Yeah, yeah, Mix awesome. is awesome. I he love Mix. Like every night. So He's so likable. He's he like is. one of my, he's like my, I'm going to be honest, he's like my favorite Globo player just because he's like the one that's always in lobbies, talking to people, like getting them hyped up and being a kind of wingman. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like partly just that he gets out a lot. So we, you know we see him and yeah we see him interact a lot with us yeah do you have a rivalry with Landon because you guys live in the same house and stuff is there any like 1v1ing I know you said you sometimes do it but like major rivalries that are there no not really it's also like it's nice to kill poom cake though I guess really I bet I think maybe I think I maybe did it once and he's ridiculous yeah (laughs) He's so, so good at grenade throws. That's like, yeah. he'll always catch me with a grenade. And I'm like, how? Where? <laughs> like, how did you know I was here? I was so yeah. quiet. I was so quiet. And he's just I like, good. I just pre through it. Dang it, bro, quick. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it feels good when you can kill your own teammate, I guess. <laughs> but not like, you know, in the league, but just practice. It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah. In the league. I actually played with um, Captain Soda and I accidentally killed him. It was... <laughs> I was like, I promise I don't, but it didn't matter. He was mad. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. Yeah, he's fun to play with. I have played with him once in a while. So I noticed that this season, there's like a lot of um, kind of seriousness. You know, people are like really, I don't know, more competitive, it seems. Have you noticed that, Edna? Yeah. I think that's why I kind of backed off. <laughs> really? Because SMC is getting like, they're trying to be more serious this season. So. I thought they're always serious. I mean, yeah, but I guys. Say last season, it was kind of like a, you know, we're going to try this, but everybody's having to deal with their own thing. Plus, we had, you know, Parzival, mm-hmm. but he didn't play much because he was, he's building a new house and right. his baby. And then Pupachu, he, he works differently, like his hours. So he never really practiced with us. So... And plus, I worked a lot, too, and I was barely able to make it to practices or games. I'm just hungry. And sometimes thirsty. we're thirsty I'm actually, and sometimes, hungry. Sometimes I'm thirsty. So let's talk about being thirsty. Um, <laughs> who do you think's the hottest in the league? The hottest? Mm-hmm. I feel like Edna's and Ed me are biased, though. Yeah. <laughs> like, so then like, what you say doesn't matter. So it's not like anyone's going to be like, all right, she, she said, what's up? So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's just like I have a ring. I I yeah, don't I have a ring. But. Okay, all right, fine, fine. Let's not, let's not let's not think about like what's who's the cutest. Let's just say, um, 
you're you're setting up one of your girlfriends with one of the players. Who do you pick? Smoils for the lols. <laughs> Smoils is adorable. You would be lucky to have him. No, I know that, but uh, the idea of set, of knowing Smoils virtually and then setting someone up with him on Discord makes me laugh internally <laughs> because of all the memeing he does. I'm just like, I want to see him with a girlfriend or boyfriend. Yeah, I don't judge. I, but. I feel like if he was to have a girlfriend, he'd be so mean to her like all the time, but love her. But like, I'm like, God, why are you so mean? Like, he'd, he'd be exactly like a cat. He would be mean and yes. like standoffish, and then he'd want like hugs and cuddles all the time. Like, that's what I feel like Smoils. I really time. like <laughs> speculating more about Smoils. That should be like a segment. <laughs> right? Let's about Smoils. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so obviously you don't have any girlfriends that you like because you're trying to set them up with Smoils. Um, that's not true. <laughs> yeah. It's actually think, cool. Yeah. Yeah, he's a cool guy. I just think it would be funny just based on like only his online persona, like setting them up with him IRL. It's just it just makes me laugh. Yeah. So I don't talk with Smoils um a lot. I mean I played with very few in the lobby just because of the EU hours. Um but I did message him for advice and it was really funny because he immediately gave me advice but it was like something stupid and I was like <laughs> not what I asked for and then he started giving me other advice he's like you wanted advice um, and then and then he actually gave me onward advice which I think that he thought that that's what I was going for was I needed some advice from a top player you know um but the advice was for <laughs> well I I needed advice I wanted to say smiles why are you the way that you are? Like, how do you do that? If I were to do that like that, how do you go about, how do you sleep at night? You know, that was kind of the advice I was going for. But, but he's funny. He's fun to talk to. You know who else is fun to talk to? Chief Pineapple. Um, I haven't seen Chief in mm-hmm. so long. I know. He, played, he played last night because he had oh, a baby. Yeah. I know. Oh. Look, at that. Look at us gossiping about other people. Um, <laughs> but uh, but uh, I think um, he was in the lobby ones with you know, with you or somebody, and you guys are like, oh, get Vivian in here, and he just messaged me randomly, just like, hey, get in the lobby, I was like, anytime anybody messages me, I'm like, do you know who you're talking to, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't think you're, you mean to talk to me, especially if you're, like, above, you know, the top, the skill 15, level, <laughs> yeah. yeah, top 15, <laughs> whatever, um, but he's like, yeah, and then, so then, the conversation just became really weird after that, like, not, not, like, it was weird in that, like, I just, I made it weird, and he continued to play along, <laughs> and so we message about things that don't make any sense to either of us or anybody, but we just keep going, um, and that was really funny. I was just like, this is hilarious, uh, so that's always, I, I always love that about different people in the league. They have, like, the, all these different sense of humors. Um, yes, different personalities. But I think it's, out. we actually all, generally speaking, gel pretty well together, which I think is really funny. Like, there's a lot of really good personalities, and there's the mellower personalities that'll round up the more aggressive mellow. personalities. Tell me a mellow person. Um, Edna. I think Edna's really mellow, actually. Yeah, um, no, she's chill sometimes. She could be, you know, I'm sure Ocean can get on here and tell you. Oh, yeah. yeah. True. About her being <laughs> <laughs> just a little scary I mean a lot of people are scared of you so um well I think it's like the there's the mellower personalities and then there's like the sc- people that are like scary good but like confident in themselves like thunder and auto are pretty mellow like if they're just in normal lobbies but they're scary good so they're yeah. just like, and like same with pants pants is like the chillest person yes, in the world it but it's because he's insanely aggressive and has no chill in game <laughs> is that true I would say Huh. Yeah, every time I've talked to Pants, he's, like, really just, like, just going with it. He's yeah. there to have fun. So, I'm going to ask another controversial question. Ooh. I was going to say, you should go, with, like, with every team and be like, who's the cutest? <laughs> oh, <laughs> we team. already did that. <laughs> Let me tell you. We've already done that. Um, and we're at the top of the list, so. Mm. Um <laughs> No, no. Okay, so let's say you don't play for um, Blaze, and Edna, you don't play for SMC, and you don't play for Animal House. They are out. Who do you want to play for? And please do not say global. Oh my God. Who do you want to play think, with? I don't think they would want me anyways. Oh, I, 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 I beg to differ. Um, yeah. but, but like, there's we all want team. Edna. Every team wants you. Like, yeah, like who, who would you be like? I would play with them. If, if um, they played, started playing Pavlov or something. I would I wouldn't mind playing for like Huni's team because you know 
Space Force? Yeah. And yeah, then, tell us why. Like, Danglers is cool. I mean, I love Stumpy and... Stumps is great. I would I would 100% pick Danglers, but I it's think, just because I, I know them all really well. Yeah. Um, I, I would, I would play with danglers too. I, um, I think everyone would, I think that they hear that a lot. If I was on yeah. the danglers, blah, blah, blah. Well, they're just like, they're so aggressive and like, I don't want to say mean to each other, but they're like brothers. And I think that vibe they have is just really cool where they're just like big brothers, essentially that just like rag on each other and stuff. And they mm -hmm. have a really cool vibe. I like them all. They're all cool people. Like, That's such a so nice way team. to put it. I feel like the danglers yeah. are, they're like a bunch of people in prison and <laughs> They all belong there, and they know it, and they have, but they're, they're trying to get out, and they have to count on each other, but they all know that the other one's a criminal, so that's how they are. I mean, when I get in a lobby, I love it, because they're always trying to kick each other. <laughs> that's hilarious. There's always and then when it goes through, they're like, wait, invite him back, invite him back. <laughs> It's hilarious. It's always like, they like blame it on each other. Like you did it. Like you kicked them. No, like, they don't even have to say anything. They're just like it's just automatically boom boom. boom. <laughs> um. Oh, but also because Sleepy is awesome too. Mm, I mean, Sleepy's I know he, great. He, you know, he's not on the Danglers anymore, but he's awesome. He's like a Danglers rep. I I view him as like the person who would be a Danglers coach if the Danglers would let him coach. <laughs> the but they daddy. don't. They don't listen to anyone except. Maybe Rambo and loose sometimes. So, um, my favorite is when uh, if I have to if I'm talking about anything that's like not positive, Sleepy will be like, "Before we go any further, please to God tell me it's not the Danglers." And I'm like, <laughs> no, they're just assholes. We all know that. <laughs> no, I I love playing with them. They're great. Um, we all accept the Danglers for who they are because, and we all like. As long as you always take everything, like, don't take the, what they say, like, seriously, you're good. You're fine. Let me yeah. think of some, um, you know, I changed my name once to go, like, kill this mean guy in the lobby with a different name, and, and then I ended up in a comp lobby with, um, Mex, Mexicutioner, and I think Stumpy, maybe Expediter, so I just, like, quietly off mic played on their side, and it was really funny, um, because, like, I got like a kill or something, and my executioner's like, "Let's kick Expediter off and put this th put this guy in," and, <laughs> and then like so he you know they kept referring to me as a guy, but then we got into we spawn in, and Stumpy is like, "I think that this is a girl. <laughs> Am I right?" And I, I was like, mm "Hmm," but I didn't want to say any further. I was like, "That's it." Um, but you know, the executioner called me vertical lines, um, so. That's our that's our little thing. It's just they're just fun to play with. But I still stand by that they are a bunch of people in a prison. <laughs> they're a bunch of prison <laughs> inmates who like have to work together. Yeah, exactly. I just, yeah. Yeah. Um, but if they had to off each other, they <laughs> they would. <Yeah. laughs> um, they're good people. All right, so I guess we all agree that we all uh, we all like um, danglers. They just seem like they'd be really fun to play like on a team with. Obviously, the other answer is like Globocam or beginners, but then you're like, well, that's a lot of pressure. Maybe I'll just go hang out with the danglers who do well, and they, I don't know. Well, they're practicing more now, but yeah, at yeah. least I think last season, kind of like similar to SMC, they kind of fell off the practicing round, and they just showed yeah. up in games, and they're like, we're here. <laughs> Pretty much. So, okay, so Space Force knows that um, if they're ever hiring, that that's your choice. Wait, wait, but did you say why? But, like, I love Hooney and Driver. Like, they've been around with SMC for a while, too. So, like, I'll, I wouldn't mind kind of going with people I've played with, like, a lot before. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Because I like to do my own thing sometimes. Yeah. And it seems, like, SMC would get mad at me whenever they're like, okay, I'm going to go here. And then I'll go there. And then I'm like, I'm going to go this way. <laughs> um, Edna, me pink. <laughs> yeah, me pink. <laughs> I am the ultimate killer of plans. Yeah. 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 Every time I've met people from the internet in real life, they're always, and it's striking exactly how I've pictured them. Like, 
not totally 100%, but, like, you generally get a vibe for someone's, like, personality or, like, their voice inflections or how they talk. Like, I'm a very big, like, hand talker, obviously, and you can kind of get that, like, when I play onward, like, I'm jittery, I move a lot. Mm -hmm. And so I think especially in VR, like, that translates really well. So usually, like, even if you don't know exactly what someone is, as soon as you hear their voice, you're like, yep, like, that's expediter. Yeah, that's that's Plinus over there. Like, yep, I know exactly how those two people that's are. That's true. Yeah, because we all hung out. And Pink, yeah, is same i could pick her out too here's a secret though about pink that you might not know that i know now because i met her in person she has the softest skin like it what? is so <laughs> baby soft that's it's just not like, true i was like oh, you know she, you know she didn't like it probably if she was awake <laughs> but me rubbing her arm. no <laughs> <laughs> i didn't have clarifying no, but no it was we, just like it was, we had so much we fun. did have a cuddle puddle yeah yeah cuddle, cuddle. you know there was a lot of like you know just oh, yeah. like hanging out each other so <laughs> hey, hung snacks. over hung over in just hanging out in one bed eating corn dogs that, that's that's about the summation of like most you guys didn't even look hung over or like drunk at all I, I wasn't i was I just was. annoyed when i was stuck in the back of pink's chair or oh yeah car. <laughs> Can I send a Snapchat to the Onward, like, uh, the Onward Snapchat group? Uh, so for context, I have a Mini Cooper, um, and we crammed four people and Aqua's giant, giant? case that's, like, bigger than me into the backseat because Aqua missed her flight, and we were like, all right, like, we'll just come with us, like, we'll drop you off, like, closer down to San Jose, like, so you can get on the airplane, it'll be better, because her options out of that city were really limited. So, but that means four-hour drive with Vivian and Aqua oh, in a suitcase. Okay, I'm back. sorry. It was me that got the worst of it. I don't know why I was the one that had to be squished. Okay? Like, I didn't draw, I didn't draw, like, the short stick or anything. But, like, I, it was literally, like, it was just, like, I mean, I was like this. <laughs> and, like, hello, guys. Like, <laughs> so mad. <laughs> so mad. It was so and then, mad. Like, and then Todd was like, because TFH is there, Todd was just like all sprawled out in the front seat, and I had to drive, so I'm like, sorry, Vivian. Like, <laughs> <my mom." laughs> yeah, but you're right. Everyone's exactly the same, so I bet it's fun. Is it, is it, how was it when you first met everybody? Like on SMC, and then when you went um, to like an Atlanta event? So when we first went, um, I actually, it was pretty cool. So we went to London and we got out and there's guys like holding our names on a piece of paper. And I was like, what? Oh my God. <laughs> and awesome. I, I, was, I felt special. And I was like, dang. Ooh. And then um, it had our Semper. So he rode in the car with, he was like, you know, carpooling. Mm -hmm. so it was our Semper. I met him and I was like, whoa, I did not like think of our Semper. He was, I mean, he's not, he's, I guess it looks older than I thought that he was because um, I never asked people their age. And so when I met him, I was like, whoa, I was like, okay. Hmm. Is he in his like 40s, 50s? I think he's, he's 100. Like, Can 60? I just say, I love, awesome. I love Semper. I love playing with oh, right. Assad. I Every oh. time that if they have a lobby up, I will try and join their lobby. He's really fun to play he's with. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's got such he's a good like down to earth sense of humor that's like hidden under the seriousness and I love it so much yeah yeah he, he's cool and then um you know like just I like tag along behind him. he's really patient with me um and then of course blue has his drawings uh, <laughs> <laughs> um but I, I yeah talk about those but I, yeah that's the thing I think that's a typical thing with like women on the internet though like every oh, yeah. time I get into a lobby people are like like how old are you and I'm like well yeah, I'm 24 and they're like yeah you sound really young and I'm like oh yeah you guys me like whenever I started playing I like people was like are you a squeaker like and you're squeaker? like no yeah. yeah and I'm like I'm 28 like what the heck <laughs> they would like, kick them like just kick her or yeah they would call me a guy too they're like I'm a little Boy, that boy. reminds me i think i just posted this online but it was so hilarious i so you know i record um because now i have a better computer and everything but i try to like i try to pull things out so that we can um just kind of i don't know um show how cool the league is and how like fun different people are to play with and stuff um 
so th there was just this one time so i was having a bad time not a bad time but like these guys were like making fun of me for being like a girl or whatever um so one of the players got a um little voice changer thing so let me just share that so it was just, this was really sweet I can't even understand that. I, mean, yeah, I'm so <laughs> I was I was laughing so hard. It was just like, yeah, it, all I could hear is like, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Last no. week, uh, this just started shooting. Oh, it's so God. funny. I, I love it. Um, and then because the three of us, I think we're like the same height. We're like what, like five, five one? Between like five one. I'm at five three, and I think I'm the tallest one. So. Yeah, I'm um, five one. I'm short. Yeah, I'm usually <laughs> in between five two and five three. I'm a shorty. That's good though. We can hide behind crates. No one can yes. see us. It's great. <laughs> Or, yeah, I'm trying to use it to my advantage. I just don't know how. The best way to do it is um, you can, because you can pull like your limbs in and really, especially with the new player models, really hide behind objects really well or in corners. And if you push yourself like forward almost to the edge, players never expect to see you there because they're looking for like people who are generally mm -hmm. taller within that six exactly. foot range. So you have a little bit of an advantage because you take your player model takes up a lot less place. That's why um, I think it was Plinus was complaining about like shortness being like a huge advantage in the league and saying we needed to get like a minor speed reduction because of it. And everyone was like, no, go away. Yeah. No, no, it, it, there are, I mean, I guess there's some advantage, but not really because I feel there's like some advantages to being really tall too. Exactly. Yeah, because I, I can't, can't look over things. Exactly. Same here, especially in bazaar. Like people looking through the windows, and I'm like jumping. Like yeah, <laughs> I do. I do jump. I'm like hey, guys. All right, here, here. We were just talking about um Semper. So, um, do you guys see the video? <laughs> yes. Yeah. But I don't. He just like pats her head. <laughs> look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh, hi. So <laughs> That's like a I love them. People do that to like every like us all the time though. Like I'll get in love and they're like, you're so short, pink. And I'm like, well, I know. It's, this oh has been God. me my entire life. Do you think this shocks me? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, um, I mean, that was just really funny. I thought that was hilarious. That's so cute. Uh, what's your favorite map, Edna? I like the short ones, so I like Suburbio, Cargo, or... Because it takes too long, you like don't want to play? Well, it's just, I'm horrible at like long range, because I can barely see anyway, so I actually, I, well, I wear glasses, but I actually recently got contacts just so I can see better, like... In onward? In, yeah, in the headset. Yeah. So I only I have those one a day ones, so I only put them in when I have matches. So like during that makes sense. But yeah, so I don't like long range. I can barely see. I'm always like, is that somebody? And then like I die, and I'm like, yep, that was somebody. <laughs> yeah, that was somebody. <laughs> but don't you think we can use our um our shortness on like little like maps like downfall? You know, just like you oh, look yeah, like a rock. <laughs> yeah, downfall. I don't mind it, but it's still like. It's a waiting game, so I'll usually wait until like the very last minute, which I kind of hate. But I mean, I don't mind downfall. So let me see. So we all we all <coughs> said we would like you would play for Space Force, and we like the Danglers. I would play for Fury. I love them. They're like brothers. Fury's good people. Oh, yeah. yeah, I, I love, love them. Fury. They're just so sweet, right? Um, I mean, I have clips, but I won't show them because they're just like constantly teasing me and it's, it's hilarious <laughs> like I big brothers they are yes. i would say like uh, like uh, you know they're all sweet but anytime if i'm playing against gt and if i say anything he'll just be like oh i can't believe you said i, I <laughs> about that he's, he's just, i was like always like gt is like the sweetest guy in the league which is hard to say i guess because there's other sweet guys but he's just like really really nice and um, but I'm sure people are going to be like, that's not true. He's an asshole. He kills me all the time, but he's nice to me. Um, okay, here, here we go. This is... This is uh.
Oh damn, I played it. Fuck you, GT! <laughs> 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 Take me by surprise. <gasps> <laughs> really said that to me. <laughs> yeah, I know he really said that to me. And then of course, um, Evo um, Evolution. Evo's great. Okay. Yeah, he's awesome because he actually does a really good balance of being like cool and nice and an asshole so um and like just playing with him is hilarious in general um but he's like the type of player who like if someone's being a dick he will immediately kill them and like has yeah, no, just like, team kill him like yeah he's, right, yeah, he's like, out. like he's like uh yeah let's give him another chance so like he actually oh, one time and i think i posted this but he actually came onto my side just to kill the guy who was being a dick to me that i had no idea i was just like there's something with this guy all right, all right. so i'm not being messed with okay all right i just want to make sure hey, where are you at uh, the little yeah. tiny one obviously i'm good i'm good do not shoot me yeah, normally you know what you know there's only short one but the vivian here what <laughs> Hmm. What the fuck was that? that was an accident. <laughs> and then, and then the next time, uh, in the next round, um, I was like, "Oh, here, take the slash bang. I'm not good." Pulls it and throws it in front of me. Right when we're leaving spawn. So, you know, he's a good balance of both. So, <laughs> so I'm. And I found that it's been a bit intense, and I, I hope this season, I think, in particular, has been bad. Last yeah. season, I think it was pretty chill. This season, I think, um, especially with all the things that are going on with like ESL and VR esports, is kind of starting to gain a little steam. I think it's just one of those things where people are starting to get really professional about it, which then leads to more competitiveness which then leads to a lot of tension mm -hmm. that's not going to happen with me um can't do the professional thing even though i am a vr professional <laughs> just can't um so, uh, the, speaking of which uh we didn't talk about um the eu team uh -huh. the EU team um and, or people who um have just been killing it i so i want to shout out to oh, yeah. dev logic like they're doing awesome i mean it, it's been a weird season right like it's just like all oh, these teams have like shifted who's been like such a surprise and you're just like wow and you start reading from for me dead logic i'm just like wow they're doing awesome mm -hmm. um ladies but i like to say blase blase <laughs> um, really blase. 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 blase but you know blaze too like they they jumped up really high like they was kicking people's asses and it was like heck yeah yeah, I always, Noman actually always jokes. He's like, we always do go down at the beginning of the season and the end of the season's like whoosh, mm -hmm. straight up to the top. Um, I think it's just a timing thing. Yeah. Um, actually, Prefontaine of Blaze is like the big brother I never had. Every time I'm in lobby, he's like pink. Yeah, he's like, he give is, me a hug. So I'm nice. Like, oh, I, think he, pre. I think he's Canadian. Is that true? Like, I think so. He's Not 100% really nice. sure. I have no clue. I think we were we were trying to um, we were trying to arrange for our daughters to play together because they're around the same age. They're so he's Aww. so cute. He he is head over heels for his daughter. It is yeah. the cutest thing. In yeah, the he's world. on their on their social media. Actually, um, I was in the lobby playing with Blaze, who I actually really love playing with them. They're just so nice. Like I know not ready balls. is not he went reserves right now, but I mean he's just. Every time I'm in the lobby, he just doesn't just, have a ton of time right now. Yeah, they're they're super super nice to play with and and hilarious and stuff. Um and patient but then i was you know everyone calls me vivian well for the most part you know, people say vivian in the lobby and then i was just like okay robert and then i realized i didn't know any of the their names anybody right. on blaze and so i've just been shouting random <laughs> names at them hoping to get it right i like that game though because i have guessed people's names correctly so i'm still um guessing their name brad <laughs> <laughs> that close no Sleepy you know well. All right. That's a sleepy stain. <laughs> oh yeah. right, yeah. All right, well that I knew. Yeah. Well, this was like a, this is a lot of fun. I think we should just do this regular anyway. all the time. Yeah, because don't like talk. I don't think I don't know that people know because like sometimes we don't talk publicly in Discord, but like I, me and Edna went to VR chat and <laughs> played around with avatars and it was hilarious. <laughs> She's just like going, dee, 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 you know, like with her little avatar. Um, 
And then Edna wants us to play poker, but I'm trying yeah. to tell you that I'm not allowed to. If once they know I'm Asian and you know, like Vietnamese, they're like, you cannot play poker with us because I take all their money and then they get all mad. <laughs> You're good so, at gambling. <laughs> no, I, I'm just thinking like, like okay, I'll play onward, but I feel like you would just completely destroy me in poker. You know, like oh, if I get a good hand, I, I suck at poker. No, well, really? you're always in there though. Yeah, but I'm just I'm just playing because I don't know. People say that it's rigged, so it's like you know it's, it's just off of luck, and hopefully the computer gives you the right card. So whatever, I just play to talk with people because hmm. there's people from all around the world, so they're speaking different languages and different accents. And me and Osha, we go in there, and we're like, ooh, like he has a British accent. Like, That's oh, all so, right. I, I think I can. I think I can play poker. <laughs> yeah, like, we're just messing with them, and guys will be like, "Oh, there's a gamer girl," and we're like, "Yeah." And we just like just start. We just mess around. Like we, we don't really play for real because it's fake money. Oh, anyway. so, trolls! I guess. Yeah, you. I so. gotcha. But you know, sitting around a table, listening to um hot accents, <laughs> I could do. I could do. You could that. do it, yeah. yeah. Well, let's hear it. Who's got the cute voice? Uh, but actually, it's so funny because Landon knows. Like, I told him, like, who my sexiest voices were. <gasps> I think I <laughs> know it, too. I'm not going to say yeah, that. I was like, I, I do guys, know. I told you guys who. Yeah. And, and I told Landon, and apparently, like, we, I got in the lobby once, or, like, for practice, and Smitty was in there with Gladiator, you know, Rome. Mm -hmm. Smitty was like, does Landon know that you guys are in here? <laughs> and I was like... <laughs> like no, but Lena knows that I think he sounds sexy, so that's Gladiator like, does have a wonderful accent. I love I, it. It's it just yeah. melts my heart every time I hear it. I'm just right? like, oh, it's like the romance movies. Yeah, you know? somebody somebody said that about him. It was a guy on the other team. I think I played with him like the night of, one of the nights, but he was just like, "Where are you from? You sound hot or something like that." <laughs> <laughs> And Gladiator uh, is such a sweetie too. He like is, yeah. he's just—he's one of those guys. I and I think it's really funny because he's very serious about his team. But then, like, you get him outside the team, and he's like the meltiest, like, mm -hmm. just nice person in the yeah, entire world. He's really he's super sweet. helpful. Like, yeah, he's yeah. very respectful too. Yes. So, um, like, yeah, he like won't make. You know, um, I don't know. He has a, he has a girlfriend, and so he's not gonna like make any like. Yeah, he won't make like super you know, bad crude comments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's really, and he's also one of the players who um like messaged me and encouraged like, oh, that's really cool with the Colettos. I'm rooting for you guys. That's really cool. Um, there's definitely players like that who you know send messages that are like really encouraging. Um, or they're just encouraging in lobbies, and that that's really cool. Um, you Did know, is it? No, no. Go on. Mm. Did I ever tell you Edna Urban Ghost, who's like one of the really he's a he's a one on one of the lower teams, but he is amazing at shield. That's like what he's known for. He's the one that like actually like because I was like I'm trying to learn how to shield, and we just played against him and like we had shield offs and stuff, and he won all of them. And I was like I'm really frustrated. And he's like Oh, okay, come. Do you have time? He's like, come into a lobby right now. And then he like showed me how he shields. Like, and he's like, you do this and like, keep, make sure you keep it in front of you. And he gave me like all of these tips. Nice. So there's a ton of people like that in the league who are like, oh, you want to learn a skill? Let me teach you. Like, <laughs> I would all over this. I would say Urban Ghost is probably the most chill and, and for the reason because he doesn't get involved with anything. Mm -mm. Um, so like he's just like wait what what's going on yeah. and um, I'm gonna go ahead and just throw it out there he's pretty cute too. <laughs> yeah, he's a cute guy. I don't know what he looks like I just know he's very helpful. <laughs> well you know as a as a reporter it's like mm. yeah it's my job to go and find a picture of every single person <clears throat> um, and put them in order in my wall right here. <laughs> you guys can't see, but it's there. And, and put like and tie like those little ropes between them and be like, all right, yeah, this, this person, person this, person, this person, person, exactly. Yeah. Now, it, for me, seriously, like it, it does feel like playing with a bunch of brothers. I would say Fury. I always tell them, yeah, you guys are the brothers I didn't ask for, you know. <laughs> But but I always feel really cool like playing going in and playing with Blaze. They're always just like really fun. Um, and again like Mob Squad's probably Mob love. Squad's good too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love playing with them. I mean Danglers is like they are fun. They just like it's unpredictable at times. They are. I mean especially with their caps. Like they always are like going for the cap and yes. it's like whoa. Yeah. Like cool. they're there within fifteen seconds. And you're yeah. like what? 
guess we're doing this. Yeah, no. They, okay, so that's one of my favorite things that league players do is revenge caps, especially if we're like in uh, happen to be in a pub lobby or if, if people are in a comp lobby, and somebody said something, um, like to Stumpy Nub, and he did not know who Stumpy was, and he was just kind of like trash talking, and I was like, Ooh. he is going to get you now, and then yeah, he, like murder yeah. you, yeah, and he, I lot. was not, yeah, I was on the seat, no, he, and then the next round he goes in caps, I was like, what did I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> mouth shut, so, and, because he doesn't say anything, um, although one time we, we, we changed lobbies, and then I think most people left, and so it was me against um, Eric from Legionnaires and Stumpy, they both went out against me, I was like, Oh. Guys, I know, right? I beat them though, so yeah. out there. Wow. Yep, I didn't cry or anything. I lured them in with cookies. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> um, anyway, I think um, I think we're good. This was a lot of fun, and the it's always we fun do this more often. Not I even know. if we have to record it, we should just like get in, like yeah, just Skype. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is there like anything that you want to see in the league this season, or you mean just in general from V Respawn, or you know, um, competition? No, I mean, I just I hopefully our team is you know Trip and America Dev. Hopefully they get to play more often because they did leave their team. Yeah, so, they're yeah they're. They're they're really good too. So I think those are like solid pickups. I hate Trip sometimes because he's so good at things. But I'm gonna edit Trip. that out. If we do not need <laughs> his ego anymore. Trip, Trip is very similar to what you said. He's the older brother I never wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know, like Trip came to visit w with me for like the weekend, and I just That's hasn't right. changed all my yeah. Like I haven't just changed my light bulbs and stuff like that. <laughs> He's good people. Like he's he's a genuinely good guy. He's I I always tease I tease him once because sometimes he acts, acts like a frat boy and that's what I do. No, that's talking. exactly what he is a frat boy. That's like exactly you're you're a frat boy trip. I love you to death, but you're a frat boy. But then yeah. like deep down under all of that frat boyishness is this like heart of gold, and I'm like, there you go. Mm -hmm. That's and then and then he like covers it up with more frat boyness. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I would say that's pretty accurate. You have you have very warm like experiences with people. I really like that. <laughs> I try to I try to see the good in people like most of the time. Plus, it's nice to be have people remembered for things they're good at instead of things they do badly. That is true. Yeah. Who is the best shield? Go. Uh, I would say Rat. Okay. Who's the best like snapshot? Pants. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think I thought you would say pants. Pants. Who is, is the loudest player? Like Trip. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the quietest, like not in game, not like like talking, but like quietest player that you're just like, where the did you <laughs> Oh like the sneakiest? Yeah. Um, I don't know. We don't oh, honestly expediter is actually Yeah. Really expediters really like while all the danglers are like super loud and like just joking around expediters that one that's like flanking and super mm -hmm. quiet about it he's scary he just shows up similarly our semper is really yeah. quiet as well because he oh you're right lower. you know i, I never call him semper he says the r is silent mm -hmm. semper okay apparently i don't know oh names. r r semper that's actually his name yeah I mean, right r, yeah it's, but it's so like he just goes by R's. semper yeah, like I think his name is Raph too, like Raphael. Just Raphael. Like Raph. And his birthday is, and his address is, oh. and his mother's maiden name. Is, <laughs> yeah. yeah. His first pet. Because you know, when we get together, even in the UK or San Jose, like we didn't even call each other by name because we barely know. It's like we just call each other by the nickname. So it was so funny. Well, like, like, Who or just. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think like I'm ever gonna call Sleepy Brad. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, no, when I mean, Sleepy came to stay with me in Noman, he he said being a gnomon like you're being a gnomon and you're sleeping <laughs> yeah like yeah. for pink when i i um i was a reference for her um what? i had <laughs> such a hard time saying chloe i was like um chloe <laughs> you know <laughs> did this so well yeah <laughs> but yeah but then uh, halfway there i'm like listen i just call her pink okay so i'm just gonna go with pink so <laughs> yeah. But I got the job, so that's what matters. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Heck yeah. 
Well, I'm going to go play with the cute boys with the cute voices and onward. So thank you for joining. I'll hop on for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Um, thanks for joining in and, uh, and talking with us. This is going to be, um, you know, on the hive, we're going to feature people every week. So let us know who we should be featuring. Um, we're going to get mixologist in here soon because he is awesome. <laughs> so anyway, um, this is um, Control Flirt the Lead. Or Vivian with the hive with the pink stingray. The, our interview with Edna Jordan and from SMC. Thank you for making the time to hang out with us. Um, at, we're just gonna go play in lobbies. Uh, we'll be the short girls kicking your ass, okay? Yep. Um, on both because both for life. They're so hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And that's slimming uniforms. It's all black. Literally, yeah. You can creep in corners. It's so great. thirsty right now. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,